In college, my major, at least one of them, was philosophy. One of the questions we were asked in our philosophy classes that pertain to the ultimate reality, metaphysical type classes, is why does evil exist? This is a time old question. We were given various reasons why it exists and we were asked reasons. Like in many cases in life, years later you find an answer or at least an example of the answer you didn't have back then. I believe Westboro Baptist Church is a perfect argument in the question, why does evil exist? Some people believe evil exists in the world because of God is putting it there to teach us a lesson, to punish us. A lot of people actually believe this. A lot of people. Ask them why evil exists. This is what they say. They write books about this stuff. But only about one group takes it to its logical conclusion. Westboro Baptist Church. Yet everyone seems to have a problem with what they're saying. In principle, everyone agrees with them. But in practice, everyone disagrees. How is this the case? If you believe that evil comes because God is teaching us a lesson, if evil comes because God is punishing us, then what is wrong with Westboro Baptist Church saying 9-11 came because of America is doing something wrong? What is wrong when they say floods, natural disasters, all that occurs because we are going against God. This is a very common belief, but when it happens in the world, most people don't accept it. Most Christians and most people are illogical. Westboro Baptist Church is perfectly logical. What they are saying is very, very right in accordance to this belief. Even Buddhists believe karma means you get what you deserve. One, put, one book I read that was Hinduish put it bluntly, you get what you deserve. So it was saying we shouldn't feel sorry for people. Or at least that's a logical implication. Isn't that what Westboro Baptist Church is saying? People have a problem with that. These Hindu people, these Buddhist people are saying the exact same thing. People don't have a problem when they say it. Westboro Baptist Church, I believe, is a perfect example of the folly of the argument that evil exists because we're doing something wrong. A lot of people have this insane notion if something bad happens to you, you're a bad person. If you're failing at something, you're a bad person. Certainly a lot of terrible people get good things in life and a lot of great people get terrible things. Westboro Baptist Church is saying this very bluntly, very logically. And to me, that's the problem with the argument that evil exists in this world and every bad thing that happens to you is because you're going against God. Obviously, lots of people will say things like, what about those little Amish girls? They, what were they doing wrong? Why did they receive that punishment? Westboro can't give good answers, but neither can you to all the evil that goes on in the world.
And some people can't explain the evil that they say is Westboro Baptist Church. But people like Wayne Dyer actually have a place for them in the grand scheme. Wayne Dyer has this belief that everything that is there is there for a reason and we shouldn't strike it down. He says they can teach us a lesson and indeed they're doing that very well. He believes people that are perceived to be evil are really just a spiritual disguise. He says spirit, the spirit can take many disguises. Carolyn Miss also calls people like that noble friends who don't seem to be our friends, but in reality, their teaching is a great spiritual lesson. Wayne Dyer believes his father was terrible, but his spiritual purpose was to teach him love. Perhaps that's what West Pearl Baptist Church is doing. They're teaching us love. Certainly in a roundabout, indirect way, but that's what they're doing. They are pushing people to the limit at the times they need to compose themselves at the most, and this can really help people's spiritual progress. Are these Eastern views, these Christian views, most spiritual views, insane? Because they justify the evil in our world, the suffering and the misery? If Westboro Baptist Church is insane because they're saying the exact same thing the Buddhists, the Hindus, the Christians are saying, then we got a problem. Westboro Baptist Church in this regard is no worse than anyone else. They are just more logical. They don't hide anything. They bring out the logic. Instead of merely being abstract about it, they look at specific examples in our world and they point them out. The argument that bad things happen to good people because they're not good people is clearly refuted with Westboro Baptist Church's example.